Pontieri won the competition for the U.S. Navy future frigate known as FFGX. Marionette Marine Corporation, which is owned by the Italian shipbuilder, was awarded a $795 million U.S. Navy contract for the detailed design and construction of the first ship at its Marionette shipyard in Wisconsin. Options for up to 10 ships could make the contract worth up to $5.6 billion. Fincantieri was competing against three shipbuilders. Austell with a frigate based on its independent class LCS. Bath Iron Works partnered with Navantia of Spain with a frigate based on the F-100. Huntington Ingalls Industries with an unknown design. The future frigate of the U.S. Navy will be based on the Italian Navy Frem and its anti-submarine warfare variant. However, compared to the Virginia Fazen type frigate, the American ship will be quite heavily modified, especially on the top side. The FFGX Frem will have a length of 496 feet, a beam of 65 feet for a 7,500 ton displacement. According to Ficantieri, the ship will be future proof as it will generate 12 megawatts of power more than enough to handle the future directed energy weapons such as lasers. In terms of weapon systems, the frigate will be fitted with the government furnished equipment as outlined by the U.S. Navy requirements. A Mark 110 57mm main gun, 32 Mark 41 VLS, up to 16 NSM anti-ship missiles, a ram close in weapon system. The frigate will be fitted with the future SPY 6V3 radar by Raytheon and baseline 10 Aegis combat management system. People often question the choice of the Mark 110 as the main gun given its small caliber for a frigate of the size. Well, keep in mind that the FFGX is set up to benefit from two type of next-gen rounds being developed for the LCS. The first one is the Alamo by L3 Harris. The Advanced Low Cost Munitions Ordinance is a low cost 57mm guided smart munition designed to help surface vessels defend against asymmetric threats, such as swarming small boats and unmanned aircraft systems. Alamo is composed of a guidance section, an advanced divert module, and a warhead. The other advanced 57mm ammunition is the MAD FIRES being developed by Raytheon and DARPA. MAD FIRES stands for Multi Azimuth Defense Fast Intercept Round Engagement System. It will provide a potent and affordable self protection capability against anti ship cruise missiles. Specifically, MAD FIRES aims to incorporate enhanced ammunition rounds able to alter their flight path in real time to stay on target and a capacity to continuously target, track, and engage multiple fast approaching targets simultaneously and re-engage any targets that survive initial engagement. The FFGX is set to become a top-of-the-line surface combatant combining some of the best and latest technologies in terms of sensor system, combat management system, and weapon systems. Its load of 16 naval strike missiles will make it one of the best frigates out there for anti-surface warfare when it enters service in 2030.